Hi, Mr. Unkert here with another uh, review video for the high school math praxis. Um, I, I thought of this question basically because I was uh, explaining my, to my friend um, Z scores and standard deviation, how to look at a Z score table. Uh, we're not going to look at a Z score table in this video, but we'll calculate Z score. Okay? And Z score is the number of standard deviations above or below the mean when you have a normal distribution. So one of the things that's normally distrib distributed, which is like the bell curve, um, is average IQ. Um, other things I could think about would be like for athletes, VO2 max would be normally distributed. Um, there's, a, there's a whole uh, things that are. Um, anyway, so let's, let's take a look at this problem. So the average IQ for the US population is 100 with a standard deviation of 15 IQ points. Uh, what is the z-score of someone with an IQ of 133? Okay, so to find z-score, we want to find the, the uh, number of standard deviations above or below the mean. We're going to take our data point. Uh, so I'm going to take our data point, so 133. We're going to subtract the mean, 100, and we're going to divide by the standard deviation. Okay. Uh, divide by 15. Okay, so we're going to get uh, 33 divided by 15. It is 2 and 3 fifteenths. 3 fifteenths is 1 fifth, so it's 2.2. Uh, .2. Our z score is going to be 2.2. .2. Now, cool thing, let's say you were someone who had an IQ of 133. Uh, you go, oh, well, how many or what what percent of the U.S. population do I have an IQ that's higher than? Uh, and you could look at a Z-score table um, and and figure that out. Uh, you can take other IQs. Um, this is a positive value. If you had, let's say you had an IQ of 95. Okay. So Z-score would be 95 minus 100. Uh, and that by 15, uh, negative 5 inch. All right, so that's about negative uh, 0 0.3 repeating. So you'd probably, z-score tables, you could go out to four decimal points. So you have a z-score of negative 0 0.333. So that that's uh, one way to calculate z-score. Something you should remember um, and be something you probably go over in a statistics class. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, if you want to check out more math stuff, I'll leave a link to my blog below. Also, if you're a teacher, um, you can check out some of my free or paid worksheets, which are on my uh, Teacher Pay Teacher store. I'll leave a link to that in the description. And finally, if you like this video, uh, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.